What is up guys, it's Mikey to Memo here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough, the playthrough of the Hushishin Dark Mage, also known as Beliar, and welcome to episode 12 part 4 I believe of Morasul where we're gonna go to the temple of Morasul. So without further ado, boom bidi boom bidi boom, let's go. Am I well supplied enough? Not quite. But don't have the gold either, so. We have to do with the things that we have. Hmm. I could quickly go to El Shadina to get lost Lester, you know. I could certainly use a companion, but uh because of the fact, you know, once I go to the Orcish Commando who has the last key to the temple. He will uh, try to kick my arse, and if I'm not careful, that means his entire army will go on my arse. So to play it smart, I'm not gonna kill the fucker. Ah, uh, probably I will kill the fucker, you know, fuck him. Otherwise he's gonna keep attacking me. But we'll see if I kill him or not. Depends on my mood. And? Have you dealt with Yusuf? Sure I have. See? Old Fasim told you the truth. No. Nah, I'll do that later. I've got something to do in uh, Morasu, which is... Uh, you know what? Because of the fact, you know... The uh, one of the quests that I still have to do is with Ramirez and the Ore Thief. Um, already found Ramirez, you know, but I have to talk with certain NPCs in Morasu to figure out where they got their um, magic ore blanks from. I totally forgot it. So I have to rewalk back to the uh, temple, but we'll get there. Where did you get the magic ore blank? I cannot remember, son of nosiness. I am but a poor blacksmith, and my pockets are empty. Show me your goods. My pockets are empty too. And since I have to pay your sorry ass, it will be even worse. Now, do you remember anything about that ore? Funny, uh, now that you say it, I do indeed remember. Hassan the Hassishan sold it to me, but he left town a while ago. Alright, so now I can go to the temple because Hassan is pretty close to the temple of Morasul. And uh, I totally forgot about that quest. Once I got to the temple, I was like, hmm, I think I forget something, and yup. By the way, if you guys are looking for a different playthrough, then you can also find them on my YouTube channel, both the Rebel 
and the human orc mercenary one the human orc mercenary is with commentary just like this one um but i think it was a live stream i'm not quite sure no 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 gothic 3 wasn't a live stream and uh the rebel playthrough the second one is without commentary so you can choose that as well if you're looking for specific builds on how my character go before you're gonna watch the playlist you know or the videos of that particular playthrough one second and then you can find those a detailed static oh, statics you know your character stats I'm gonna use the short version because uh, statistics is sometimes pretty hard to announce but stats you know the character stats will be in the playlist and uh, you can find whether they go two-handed whether they go bow or crossbow whether they go Enos Badriar or Adenos Magic this one obviously goes Badriar but that's because this is the playthrough of Badriar now shall I first do Hassan or shall I first overrun this area with the army of the undead let me first take care of the temple I think that's smarter the fearless desert beasts are dead the beasts are dead good Suddenly things don't look quite so hopeless around here. Here, take this as a reward. I've got the four remaining keys. Give them here, right now, do you hear? Just a moment. What's in it for me? I must fulfill my task here, and you were a convenient tool. But now that the keys are here, you are no longer of use to me. I see. In that case, I won't give you anything at all. Give me the keys or I'll chop off your head, filthy mora! I'll chop you to pieces! Don't let him hit you, because if he hits you, his army will attack you. Stop right there, mora! Stop right there, mora! You are a mora. <laughs> You're about to die! Orek Shaka, I got defeated. QQ. Oh, I did save before him, okay. Then I could have pressed F9, oh well. But he does uh, quite a bit of damage, but that's because I still wear the first armor of the Hashishin. Because, you know, people normally in their regular playthroughs, they don't wait for specific armors. That would make my playthrough individually a bit harder than it will be with the hardcore run because in the hardcore run I will be able to purchase every single armor that I need, whether it's the human orc mercenary or whether it's the rebel armor, it makes no difference. As long as it is better, then it's better. This guy, I can't do that because this guy will only wear Hashishin armor and not human orc armor. Maybe I would collect it at some point, you know, maybe, probably not. Well, remains to be seen. Now you're going to bleed. Stop right there, Mora. I over here, okay. Okay. Now you are mine.
Do not make me kill you. He probably will attack me again, but that's exactly what I hope for. to steal my glory, scumbag. Now you're going to bleed. As long as I don't talk with him, he will be fine. Let the undead kick his ass. Then I will have no blood on my hands. In a way I do, but... Alright, here goes nothing, this is gonna be tough. And that is that. The door is open. Me I'm taking a short break. Let's drink a bit of water. It's a bit too too little for a uh, HP potion. Another one of those annoying beasts. The 
beasts just don't learn. I wanted the XP too badly. And I paid for it. Well done. They must all be killed. Now the reason why I'm helping them is so that I can use them later. Um, should the need arise for the Hushishins or any other loose walking around undead why creature. Are you sneaking around here, Mora? I am looking for weapons, Orc.
a bit too risky. The only arrows that work versus skeletons is head knocks and explosives. At least explosives are not quite sure what it should. But head knocks that's for sure. Good time to test. Yep, explosives too. Explosives are used. That's why it went right through them.
I'm gonna quickly first take care of Hassan the uh, ore thief and then I will go quickly to sell all these swords, cudgels and what have you in order to exchange them for uh, healing potions, mana potions because I need them, especially healing because they're gonna be about two, three mages down there at least two, that's for sure <laughs> Ghost warrior. What about? Alright, so let's search for this Hassan. I know a little-ish where he is. Not 100%. But uh, we'll find him. But the temple for the moment is a bit too much. There's a lot of undead. Even more of the annoying beasts. Just don't learn! The beasts just don't learn. You too. You asked for the more of the beast. Another one of those annoying beasts. Well done. Take that, rotten beast. Where's his weapon?
Yeah, I think the temple's gonna be the uh, part five. I'm already 30 minutes in and I'm not even close to Assam. What is your problem, Orc? There is no honor in this carnage. Yeah, it's gonna be tricky to deal with uh, any critters on this low HP status. Is there a barrel of water around here somewhere? Maybe I have some food, I doubt it. Oh, bless you. It's gonna take a bit of time. Once I'm a bit, uh, once I'm fully HP'd, I'll make a quick save and quickly get myself something to drink. And then we're gonna go to Hassan. I will do the temple itself in uh, the next part. Which is a bit surprising to me, but uh, you know, whatever it takes, how many parts it may take, how many episodes it may take, we'll get this game done. Be right back, guys. Alright, so let's get this to this uh, Hassan, the Orth Thief. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna run through it because it's all the way back there. But uh, I will take care of all these undead right here with the one of the water mages right before I kill him. bit worried about a fire golem.
when are they now safe? <laughs> right before the uh, lizards. Because once they hit me, you know, that disease, it's making my character move slower as well as regenerates uh, uh, the uh, stamina slower. So, you know, only thing that I'll quickly want to do is go to Hassan, kill his ass, get that quest completed. And then quickly go from city to city to sell whatever I have that I don't need. And uh, get myself potions, arrows, what have you, you know. Better bow would be nice as well. Preferably 40k gold in order to get new armor. Oh no, not again. Not again. Yup, again. Yup, Gothic has uh, frozen guys. Now I shut it down, but it doesn't shut down. Oh, it does. So to reboot the game. Just give me a second. Now I don't think that the game froze, but I think the loading screen just froze. I had it uh, before in a uh, previous episode of this playthrough, if I remember correctly. But then when I alt tabbed and used Task Manager and switched back to game, it was fixed, you know. Didn't do that, so I shut it down. This is the only reason why I came to here, you know, just to kill, um, Hassan. Shall I also kill the other buggers around him? I know that you stole the ore blanks. That's what Ramirez said too. Actually, I seem to remember those were his last words. There was only screaming after that. Where are the raw ore blanks? I sold them some time ago, ha, <laughs> and I got a fair sum of gold for them, but you will never find it. I will avenge Ramirez. Just try it. I will send you to Beliar! Stop right there, you dog. I will send you to Beliar and all your comrades. So mana potions? Yes, I do. Let's poison the motherfucker. Ah! 
Son's letter. Now I don't have to kill those guys, but since they're part of the complot, you know, I'm gonna kill them all for their loot. Job's gotten. Go back now. Let's see what kind of boots they have here. Nothing. Well, he's dead though. Alright, so let's quickly go to Morasul, then I'm gonna quickly supply him potions, arrows, and what have you. Regenerate my HP by drinking water. And, uh, get myself ready to actually enter the Temple of Morasul, which will be in part 5, sadly, but for... Show me your goods. not much gold that I have but it's something I know who murdered Ramirez and who is the responsible a Hashishin named Hassan Hassan well hmm he worked for Nerusul, who is currently staying at Ishtar. See to it that you are granted admission to Ishtar and sort out that Nerusul. I will exercise my influence with Suban for you. I can do no more. Oh, and I assume that Hassan has received his just punishment? 
I've taken care of Hassan. And the death of Ramirez is avenged. Good. Here, take this gold. You have earned it. What exactly should I do with Nerusul? Find out if he really is behind the ore theft. And what if he is? Then teach him a final lesson. My people may be a group of gold-hungry bastards, but we will never allow miserable thieves like Hassan to gain power and wealth. About admission to Ishtar. If you continue working as you have here in Morasul, you will soon stand before Subem. Convince a few of the other mages, then you will be as good as admitted into Ishtar. Teach me something about ancient magic. How can I use light armor properly? You have to tighten it properly. Pull all the laces, strings, and straps nice and tight. But the trick is tightening. Tighten it properly and it will protect you better. I don't have a rope yet, but in, at least as soon as I do get Dark Mage's rope, I have a maximum beneficial from it. I don't think these count as light armor. Nope. Don't think they do. Alright, so let's find a fountain of water, and then I'm quickly gonna go from city to city. This is gonna take again a bit of time. But that is why I want to train my strength at 300 so that as soon as I get access to Zubin, I can learn self regeneration, which allows me to avoid moments like these. And of course, my character will deal more damage. go all right so let's quickly go from city to city at least the cities that I have explored I didn't explore all the cities of Muritana yet Show me your goods. Because I learned improved ropes, of course, I uh, spend a little bit of my gold hoops. <laughs> Interesting. Can I make buoys? Not yet. Okay. Let's quickly go to Okara. I'm just gonna go by the fire mages. 
because uh, I accidentally spent 2500 gold on improved ropes while I wanted to use the gold for you know for potions etc now what I could do is use my current wolf skins to craft weapons which I can sell but I'm not quite sure if it's going to be profitable Show me your weapons. Not that profitable, but it's a bit. Show me your goods. Well, there's got to do. You don't. All right, anyways, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching and if you like what you see subscribe to my channel hit the like button and uh, if you want to see a gothic series hardcore run then uh, smash every every video that you can if you're looking for human orc mercenaries or the rebels you can find both on my channel and uh, I hope to see you guys in the final part where we yes finally gonna enter the temple of Mora Sul. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next part of this episode. Truly this time, which is gonna be the final part. That's for damn sure. So see you guys next time.